welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks very much for stopping by. Uh, welcome back to the man cave. We're back in. The twins are beavering away, as you can see in the background, doing the uh, the next part of the the next part of the project. Um, as I said in my last video, what we're going to do is look at the LED eyes, fitting those into the the box and loop helmet, and uh, getting them working on the Arduino. Uh, and then also, what I wanted to show you is getting them working so that when the helmet is up. Uh, when the faceplate is up, they're off, and when the faceplate comes down, they switch on automatically. So no extra switches and everything else. We do everything via the code in, in the Arduino. So let's have a quick look to see how they look when they're in. So as you probably noticed on there, one of the LEDs is not working. Um, that's not a fault of anything apart from the fact of me possibly breaking one of them while I was just moving the wires around on the back to just readjust them in the position um, and I kind of broke it and I only ordered one pair. Um, so replacements are on the way but it didn't actually prevent me from fitting them. They did work at one point, it was just me kind of being a bit ham-fisted. So they did work at one point. Um, replacements as I say are on the way and um, what I'm going to show you is how they were fitted. Um, obviously, bending the uh, bending the lenses, uh, getting them in onto the eyepiece on the back, and then wiring up to the board onto the Arduino. And I'll show you the code as well as to uh, how we got that working. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, so obviously to kind of you know to bend the lens, uh, the idea is is to uh, obviously use a heat gun, heat these up. Um, and then obviously kind of bend that into into this kind of shape. It's not the easiest thing to do because obviously as you'll see you've got to get that warm enough to obviously to, to bend uh, without burning your fingers. Uh, it does cool and then you've obviously got to get it into this position to hold it. So it, it is a little tricky, it's a little bit awkward, it's doable, um, but not the, not the the easiest thing in the world to do. Okay, so once you've got the uh, once you've got the lenses bent, um, you can see then that you drill these two, or two, there's three or four holes you can put in. I've put these two in here. Um, the plastic back eyepiece has got uh, holes kind of marked out when they print so what I did was I lined I lined that corner up up the top there and then just followed the line up here and then when you hold it up to the light you can see through the hole in the plastic um, and then you can just use a, a marker pen to mark the two holes get rid of those and then just carefully drill through and then what I used was the uh, two by six screws out of that same pack and straight through there and then again once it's gone halfway through you can kind of line it up with a hole and then just screw that into position same with that one down there so you can just put that through and then screw it back into place and then again, obviously, just repeat for the other side. Okay, so now that the uh, lenses are, are in the helmet, let's have a look at the coding. And let's also have a look at where the, uh, where the wires need to be attached to. So basically, the uh, positive needs to go to one of the PWM outputs or one of the outputs on the, uh, on the Arduino. Um, you can see there on the diagram which ones are available, which ones you've already used with regard to the code for the servos. So in the code itself, um, what I've done is I've defined eyes here. So I've called it eyes. <clears throat> Define the pin four as the one that I'm actually going to use uh, to turn the LEDs on and off and the ones that obviously I'm going to turn them attached to. So that was the first line of code to be added in. The next one, as you go down here, is pin mode, and I put pin mode eyes 
basically is an output so that just lets the pin mode know that it, it's going to be a it's going to be an output that that goes on and then as you move down here what I've done is used um, this location that we've already got here uh, as a as a setting for whether the servo should go up or down uh, basically if the helmet is open or closed so based on that I've put digital right eyes low and then here digital right eyes eyes high so basically low is off high is on um, and it basically all that all those two lines are doing in that servo code there as well is it's basically saying so if it's open make sure that they're off if it's closed make sure that they're on and it literally is as simple as that so I've just added those lines so that one there that one there and then you've got this one here and this one here those are the only lines added into the code it all compiled absolutely fine went into the uh, went into the um, programmed it into the Arduino and that's it all good to go So one thing that's uh, that's important to know about the Arduino coding and, and how uh, how it all kind of works. Although, believe me, I'm I'm no expert. Of, uh, this is my first kind of coding uh, experience with this. Um, but everything basically does kind of go in order with regard to in the loop anyway. So um, when this starts, everything kind of just goes in a loop and it just goes particularly in order. So initially, like in the video, when you can see the helmet going up and down and you can see the LED eyes. Uh, turning on and off um, you can see that the light comes on before it moves and goes down into the closed position that's because initially I had this line here up here um, before the servo moving uh, part to the code so because um, I've moved it down there literally what it does is it means when it uh, when it realizes that the, the faceplate is open it then tells the code and tells the servos to move then it turns the LED eyes on so just um, that's one of the the differences between this actual code and what you see in the video so now the helmet actually closes then the light then the eyes actually come on so that uh, that makes a bit more sense okay so the day after doing that and actually getting the heat gun onto the lenses and bending them and then putting them into position obviously breaking one of them as well um, this happened hey guys what's up all from my channel my name's Frank and today I want to show you guys something kind of cool right so with that revelation in mind actual flexible uh, LED eyes um, that are going to be much much easier to fit as you can see from Frank's video um, the replacement ones that are on the way are of those types so I'm going to do the flexible ones it shouldn't actually matter too much with regard to the fitting apart from making it an awful lot easier removing the requirement for the for the heat gun and the bending etc um, so once they arrive I'm going to get those fitted um, and I'll show them again at the end once all that's all done. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm now going to get on with actually the finishing part of the helmet. So I'm going to start getting it uh, put into um, making sure it all fits nicely, sanded down, and then fillered, primed, and painted. So I'm going to get on with that, and hopefully we'll uh, I'll catch up with some of the progress on that once uh, once I'm there. So hope that's okay. Please like and subscribe. Um, thanks very much for everybody who's been uh, supporting me so far. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, talk to you soon. Thanks very much. See you in a bit. Bye.